Since the morning of March the 11th, the Russian military has been shelling major Ukrainian cities. For the first time since the beginning of the full-scale war, explosions were heard in the city of Dnipro, the regional center in the central part of the country. There were three airstrikes. The shell was dropped near a kindergarten, an apartment building, and a two-story shoe factory caught fire. At least one person was killed and one person injured. The cities of Lutsk and Ivano-Frankivsk, regional centers in the western part of Ukraine, where a lot of refugees had moved to escape air raids, were shelled for the first time. In Lutsk, the Russian occupiers bombed the airport. According to preliminary information, there are no victims, but two boiler houses in the city have stopped working. People have no heating at the moment. In Ivano-Frankivsk, there were explosions near the airport. Local authorities recommend that people living nearby evacuate. Enemy shelling continues in Kharkiv region. Since the beginning of the war, almost half a thousand houses have been destroyed. In the morning, the Russians de-energized the nuclear facility in the city of Kharkiv. This is the second bombing of the building where the research department is. It has been damaged. During his last briefing, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, emotionally addressed Russia. In total, the damage to Ukraine from Russian invasion has already exceeded 100 billion dollars. A crime against humanity. One more assault has been added to a long list of illegal actions of the Russian Federation. Russian aircraft has attacked the city of Chernihiv with incendiary bombs prohibited by the international law. This was recorded by the conflict intelligence team investigating the circumstances of military conflicts from open sources. Fearless Ukrainian rescuers demining ammunition have confirmed the use of the forbidden incendiary bombs by Russia. In their footage, sappers are carefully removing the detonator from the bomb, which fortunately did not explode. OFZAB-500 incendiary bombs are extremely powerful weapons, one of which is enough to blow up half a residential district. The outright lies of the Russian media. A fragment on the TV program of one of the Russian channels has been shared on social media. It shows videos from surveillance cameras of Ukrainian cities before the Russian full-scale military invasion. The presenter says that these cities are already intact and undamaged. На фоне истерии в западных СМИ объективно оценить ситуацию помогает видео с веб-камер, которые установлены прямо на улицах. Ну вот, например, столица Украины – Киев. Все тихо, спокойно. Но это уже кадры из Харькова. Тоже обычный день. Сумы, по дорогам ездят машины. В общем, ничего такого, чтобы говорило о том, что обстановка вызывает тревогу. The day before, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, Sergei Lavrov, also made a knowingly false statement. He stated that there were no mothers or children in the maternity hospital in Mariupol, where the Russian army purposefully fired several air strikes. While saying that, Lavrov nervously twisted the microphone wire in his hands. В этом родильном доме, мы об этом сказали 7 марта в сайте безопасности, давно нет ни женщин, ни детей, ни обслуживающего персонала. Его заняли бойцы батальона Азов. However, later the Facebook and Twitter removed posts from the Russian Federation about the destroyed maternity hospital in Mariupol being used as a military base and not functioning at all. Millions of people around the world have taken to the streets and squares to force their governments to close skies over Ukraine. No fly zone in Ukraine. To a no fly zone. We are asking for the no fly zone. 74% of Americans, 100% of Ukrainians, and a vast majority of Poles 
Germans, French, and British support Ukraine and are in favor of closing the skies over it right now. Ukrainian nuclear plants are under attack from the air. This is a clear and present danger to all of the European Union. NATO governments, close the sky now and save the lives of thousands of civilians today.